And I think people who feel the way that you do, and there's a lot of people in the world that do, need to make sure that they respond to that consultation so that a decision isn't made in error while people think there isn't that level of support. Thank you. 
Yes, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Chair. Um, I mean, you actually write it off the rats, which is why we've never charged for rats in the past. Um, unfortunately, given where we are, we need to make that decision. We, we, we have undertaken um, uh, uh, equality impact assessments on each of the options. So each of the options have been assessed for equality. Those will go to members with our final recommendations for members to be aware of what we as officers believe could be the impact and how that impact could be adversely affected by equality issues such as disability or indeed economic well-being. So those will all be part of the considerations that will go alongside the recommendations that we take to our cabinet. Okay, thank you for that. And I'm sure everyone trusts in the good sense of people making these decisions. Maybe. Uh, Right, keep this going left and right. Um, yes, John. Just wait for the microphone. Okay. Thanks. And, and in principle, decision has been made to offer a lease for the new fire station at Greasby. So shouldn't all will councillors therefore declare a personal interest tonight? <laughs> I don't think any of us are going to benefit uh, financially from that decision, but I'll check with the lawyers. What do you think, John? You've never been that kind of You tell us whether we should or not. It's not my responsibility, Jack. Pardon? All right, so the, the lawyers say it doesn't affect us personally. Do you agree with that? Even, even though if they get the fire station there, will council will benefit from the income. So. Uh, <laughs> okay. So you, 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 you're assuming will the council benefit from the income. Members don't know if there's been any commercial discussions or what those commercial discussions may have been in terms of rents or otherwise. Well, it's been made public that you made an in-principle decision to offer them a lease. I'm, I'm, normally, anyway. I'm normally one to trust John in the Thank you very much. Yes, gentlemen in the jacket there. Yes, we've got one question from two Masters Horizon in the minutes. We may start with the Masters Horizon on page 10 of the minutes. There was a request for committee to produce a constitution, what I'm actually received is the council constitution, not the constituent committee one. It's 330 odd pages, very good read, but it's not what I asked for, I asked for the constituent committee. Can you give me John the pull-up? The other matter arising is who will repairs. So far we've got the traffic column up for two weeks and now that's disappeared. Can we have an update on the Road repairs, please. And the question that we'd like to ask is can we go on the golf and do a presentation with proper costs, gains, what it costs us, out with proper public questions and answers? Um, I've come back if that's okay on the uh, constitution uh, question. Yes, I did send you the full constitution, um, and Article 10 relates to the uh, constituency committees. I can't remember what page it's on, uh, but I will pull, out, pull that information out for you, Dave, put it in the email so you can see. Specifically, it's only actually a page that relates to the, the, the um, terms of reference in the constitution of this, these particular committees. Okay. Uh, I think we'll get someone to chase down who's Nick the Cone off the road, uh, so we can get someone chasing someone around. Uh, we've got a response to that, apparently. So that, that's it. But there has been some work done with those cars parked, so we couldn't finish your orders, I understand. Is that right? Uh, and there's also an issue with uh, with the application process, which resulted in, in two months. Uh, so we are aware of the situation, and we are working with the contractor to get back and resolve it. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, and in terms of the meeting with the details and so on, You've heard from me and heard from Mark that we're going to intend to do something in some in more depth uh, as we get closer to the location where it's actually held. So hopefully, so that so we wanted to give you an update now. Didn't want to keep anything back, uh, but we will go into much more detail to cover off some of those issues that you've rightly highlighted to make sure they're properly addressed for you. So complete transparency, all that sort of stuff. Great believer in transparency. Right, we're doing quite well. I think we've got two 
uh, hands up now. So we'll make these the last two, possibly. The lady at the front here, and then over in the corner, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to ask a very pertinent question in view of the fact of the cuts. What is the future uh, viability of these committees? Uh, we spend a lot of money on them, and money is doled out to worthy causes, I would say, some large, some small. But I'm sure all that money together could provide something like some more play facilities for the young people in the disadvantaged areas, like the Wood Church, Gorby Road, and places like that. Okay, I, you know, a, a fair question. I think if memory serves, if you complete the survey, there is uh, there's bound to be a box for your ideas about how the money could be saved. Uh, so the option is the the one thing I would try and um, counsel against. Though it is absolutely consultation. Everyone is an individual. Come along and have their own views. I would try and avoid the kind of beggar my neighbour approach to say let's don't spend your money there, let's spend it all in one place. Uh, I think there is something about the inherent uh, fairness of the approach that this entire committee has taken and that approach to supporting and promoting some of the small community groups to do relatively small projects that have a big effect. And if, if all this is about, you know, trying to improve the sum of human happiness, if you like, to make people uh, to do what best we can to make people's lives a little bit better, then I think the approach that we take is actually quite, quite a fair one and a good one. So, but you must comment as you see fit, and make sure you get that into the survey. Final question now, and it's the lady across the way, Wendy. Um, going back to the various questions I've been asking, I understand about the devotion of property to the intention. Do we actually know what the cost is to, to the council? To what? Oh, sorry, I think we missed the slide. Yeah, I think the cost of the open. Yeah, the cost of yes, the cost yeah. to. Where are we? The, the yeah. yeah. Yes, Chair, we do. I'm sure Mark and we are the more off. I haven't got the model on hand, but. Chair, in order of you know, in, 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 uh, to support the open transparency, I think we've been very open to transparency. I think the newspaper, an article, or a radio station has reported that we've been open to transparency about the art. I can't remember the moment, but we have. They've been, every, they've been in every paper that I've, I've read, they've been on every radio station. I just can't remember what the art is. Do you remember the moment? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Kevin and Chair. I think I think what I'd rather do though than, than, than try and give you one piece of what I'm remembering now is I'd rather go back to the opportunity that the chair of the committee said. I am going to come back. I'm more than happy to step up there and do a presentation on the full cost of the council, how that money was, uh, the economic benefit was measured, etc., etc. We've only literally just received that information, so we're having to disseminate it ourselves. But I, all the way through from the 18 months ago when I stepped into the role of planning for this. Study in front of every committee, in every group I've been asked to. I've pretty much gone to every door and spoke to every person who's asked me a question, and I have to do that again, so I will come back. Yeah, what we will do, though, notwithstanding, we're going to have that wider presentation. That's that's quite a very clear and specific question, and we'll make sure we get you the answer to that so you've got those figures, okay? Okay, can I thank everyone for their contribution? Conscious, we, we normally have a rule that we finish at 9 o'clock. We've gone on a little past that tonight, but I wanted to make sure everyone had the opportunity to ask a question about some good presentations. So thank you for your attendance.